The time to, to back a civil rights bill, you may have noticed, is as of the moment when it becomes popular. Up until that moment, it becomes completely forgivable if you don't do so. Lyndon Johnson is considered a great friend of the Negro people, but he voted against a whole series of Negro, uh, of civil rights bills over a period of years. Point three, some 30 to 35 percent of the Negro people voted for Nixon in 1960. Now, I think somebody ought to get around to telling us what it is that Mr. Nixon has done since 1960 that alienates those votes. No, here's what's, what's happening. What's happening is that the Democrats are trying very hard to mobilize all of the Negro votes on a racist basis. On the one hand, they tell us that we shouldn't treat people as simply members of a race, members of a group. On the other hand, they're always trying to deploy them as members of a group, members of a race. What Mr. M what Mr. Uh, uh, Lomax uh, and whoever paid for this ad, and I'm sure it was a Rockefeller right out in Los Angeles, are doing is to encourage the notion of stereotypes. If you don't like Nixon's views on atomic uh, energy, uh, then he doesn't believe in racial equality. This is an old technique, but I think that some of us ought to agree that it's sordid, uh, even left Democrats. <clears throat> Mr. Vidal, uh, I'm sorry, Bill, I wasn't listening, but uh, 